Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so did I have Fred Lerner on the line, and he's founder and CEO of mailpix.com and also onehourphoto.com. Fred, welcome to the show. Good morning, Adam. Nice to be here. All right, Fred. So uh, I'm excited about today's episode. I've been uh, doing research on what you're doing over at um, onehourphoto.com and also just the concept. And I'm excited to get into your history of uh, in, in the photography business and really on the production side of things. And I mean, just just a lot of things you've done in your tenure um, in the business. I mean, I'm a past president of the Photo Marketing Association, past president of Kodak Processing Labs. I mean, you got a lot of things under your belt. Um, so uh, we'll get into all of that, but we'll start this episode like we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So Fred, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. So that's our mission here. Fred, what mission matters to you? Mission Matters is uh, an opportunity to share our story and our love of photography and pictures uh, with everyone, especially our one hour photo, which is a, a spectacular concept in our minds and helping people preserve memories. Yeah. So, um, and thank you for sharing that. Love bringing um, mission-based uh, entrepreneurs and executives on really to share why they do what they do so, and making memories and preserving those memories. I know you have some, some ideas on that and I can see how, you're, how your technology is making that possible for people. Um, but let's go a little bit further back. Like, where did this fascination with photography, the camera, I mean, like, like where did all this start? Where did it start? Interesting question. I was a Boy Scout, and scouting was a very important part of our family. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, on my quest to get uh, become an Eagle Scout. And to become an Eagle Scout, you needed 21 merit badges. Mm -hmm. And I was scanning them, and there was the photography merit badge. <laughs> and something came over me. And I used to work odd jobs around the neighborhood. And when I was 13, I collected my money. I went downtown Manhattan to Willoughby's camera store, bought a used camera, which is still sitting on my shelf behind me. <laughs> and just fell in love with it, was processing photos in the family uh, bathroom at, on Thursday night. That was my night for the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, got my first paying job as a photography counselor at a summer camp upstate New York, uh, Camp Tranquility, mm -hmm. which is still in existence today, celebrating its 103rd year anniversary. Amazing. And uh, went on to work in the photo industry uh, ever since. Wow. And so um, as we are kind of just starting, um, you know, warming up for the episode and just, you know, catching up, um, you, you talked about a day when, um, when there was these um, one hour photos or like the industry was different. So it was in, I don't know if we'd say it's in its heyday or what, but it just had a different complexion. Um, can you tell me about the excitement of like what you felt when you were developing your own photos and doing things like that? Because I, I've talked to in the past, you know, I've talked to maybe photographers or people that are on the, they love taking a picture for a certain reason, but it's rare I get to talk to somebody on the production end that has that, that love for that side of it as well. Well, I know you're supposed to be the one asking questions, Adam, but if I can ask you a question, uh, where, do you Go keep, for it. where do you keep your, your photos of your family and your, your baby pictures and your parents, et cetera? Um, like maybe under the bed or like in a, in a shoebox, uh, maybe an old album, like, like things like that. Like most people, like most yeah. people. And uh, typically when the question is asked of people, Adam, uh, if your house was on fire, what are one of the first things you would grab as you were getting out of your house? I mean, you, you can't, we can't replace the photos, right? Like other things, insurance can replace, like you can replace a TV, you can replace, you know, even jewelry, right? Um, many times, um, but your photos, I mean, those things are priceless. Priceless, and that's the key word. Uh, imagine growing up 
without having those memories of your family, yeah, your yeah. history, your grandparents, your great grandparents. And uh, memories are important. Mem memories are forever because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. that's all we have. We have our memories and photos and photo albums. And mm -hmm. we help people uh, preserve those memories. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways uh, that we preserve them mm -hmm. is is through our one-hour photo app. Mm -hmm. uh, our business started off, Adam, as a web-based business, mm -hmm. uh, mailpics.com. We would, uh, people would upload their images and uh, then we would manufacture them and return them by mail to the customer. Mm -hmm. And then we acquired uh, several of our competitors, uh, wingflash.com, um, Ritzpix.com, mm -hmm. uh, we acquired from the Ritz camera people, uh, MyPix2, mm -hmm. we acquired the print shop labs from the photo bucket company. Mm. And then overnight, a few years ago, everyone had a camera in their pocket. <laughs> yeah. And everyone was saying, okay, I now have all these wonderful photos on my mm -hmm. phone. What do I do with them? Mm-hmm. And so we acquired the uh, uh, intellectual property for one hour photo. Mm -hmm. And we proposed to the largest chains in the United States, mm -hmm. including CVS Drug, Walgreens Pharmacy, Walmart, mm -hmm. and Dwayne Reed out of New York City. Yeah. The concept of uploading images from our one hour photo app to the store and making those prints available to customers in one hour. Yeah. And they said, how, how are you going to do that? There are 18,000 different stores, different machines, different technologies. And we spent years developing the technology stack to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only that, but we proposed to the stores that they collect the money mm. so that the customer would have not have to put it in their credit card. Yeah. And it became a very easy transaction with just a few clicks. You can go from your phone to picking up your photo, photo mm -hmm. gifts, the photo albums at 18,000 retail stores around the country. Yeah. How, how does this go? And uh, not to oversimplify this, because you said it pretty quickly, but like the technology stack and some of the other things involved, the logistical like uh, um, challenge of going from you know in from you know concept to execution, like I don't want to understate that hurdle. Like like how how was it going through that process? Uh, well, I I guess I have to go back to the uh, philosophy that I was trained in in the photographic industry. Mm -hmm. uh, it was um, Calvin Coolidge who developed a a line. Which is which included persistence and determination, mm. and that became our family motto and our business motto for our company: persistence and determination. You know the old mm -hmm. Churchill quote of "never give up, never ever 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 give up." Mm. And so, yes, it, it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. Took a lot of work, along with my colleague uh, Peter Tommen. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, engineers and uh, outsourcing it to various companies around the world. And ultimately, we achieved that. And we've been doing this now for about five years. Wow. And it, it works beautifully and continues to grow. Tell me about some of the things that really makes the, um, the one-hour photo app unique. Well, it's the only app that exists where you can open up one hour photo mm -hmm. and from that one hour photo app, I don't know if you can still see it on the screen here, mm -hmm. probably not, it's probably washed out, but you can choose your retailer yeah. from, so if you're a CVS customer, you go to CVS. If you're a Walmart customer, you go to mm -hmm. Walmart, Walgreens and Dwayne Reed. And then as soon as you click on that, it brings up a menu of mm -hmm. all the products that you can make at that store. Wow. Uh, you, you select your images from your phone because most image, most photos that are printed are the ones mm -hmm. you take today. 
and you can choose prints and photo books and uh, photo cubes, bamboo prints, wall hangings, uh, holiday cards, and put it in the cart and you're finished. No credit card is needed. And just wow. get, in the, get in your car or take a walk down to your closest retailer, your favorite retailer, mm -hmm. and pick them up. So I, I have a question. It may sound kind of silly, but it's on my mind. Uh, like how many photos have been printed? Like roughly, obviously a ton, a ton, but like what quantity? I mean, you're doing this for five years. I mean, you're a lot of retailers. What, what's the number on that? We have done well over 10 million photos. Amazing. Um, and, but it's not amazing uh, so much, Adam, because hmm. the numbers of how many photos are taken on phones today Mm -hmm. are something like a, a trillion every day, week. It depends on what research you read. But uh, think about it. How often mm -hmm. do you use your phone to take photos? Yeah, uh, definitely. And some of them are priceless. And those are the ones we want you to consider printing mm -hmm. for posterity, for your mm -hmm. legacy. Mm -hmm. What kind of feedback do you have you received kind of on the app from both the I guess from the business side, you know, the B2B side, but also from from the um, from the clients, because I can see something like this just as, as more and more people learn about it, figure out about it. And obviously it's already in a lot of different locations. Um, I feel like it, it, it has one of those things where um, preserving those memories kind of can, can become a movement. Well, you're, you're now getting into our business model, which typically we don't reveal, but uh, being interviewed by you, uh, you kind of make it easy to talk about things I would not ordinarily talk about, Adam. Mm -hmm. uh, on the B2B side, the uh, stores like CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, they love the fact that we're driving customers into their stores. Oh, yeah. Well, these customers not only pick up their photos, they're also buying toothpaste and everything mm -hmm. else. So they see it as a real win win. And of course, consumers, once they hear about it, once mm -hmm. they understand it and how reason, uh, inexpensive it is, yeah. there's, no, there's no delay, there are no shipping charges. Yep. Uh, uh, you pick up a print for 20, 30 cents. Mm -hmm. and uh, you're in and out and uh, we get a tremendous positive feedback and they become lifelong customers. Yeah, I see that. I see it being a total win-win scenario for all parties involved because the stores, that traffic, their, their metrics, they're measuring by, you know, per sale, per customer, not even necessarily margin all the time, depending on, you know, the, the retailer. And then on your end, I'm just like, to me, it's, it, it becomes kind of addictive. Like you're going, you know, especially for people that, you know, frequent certain retailers often um, or, or these stores often, it's like, oh man, I want to print this one out. I want to print this one out. And then when you get, when you get there, you're going to pick up a Coke, a Cola, or you're going to pick up something else. Like just not going to go pick up your couple of prints, but then the memories also for just like giving it, giving it away, like as gift and otherwise um, it's become in my opinion kind of tricky without something like a one hour photo to where if you want to just even create like you know holidays are coming up you have some memorable pictures and you want something you know to add as a stocking stuff or something memorable that you want to frame and give somebody like now based on the different types of things that can also potentially be printed. I mean, the, the world of possibilities and the, the ease and the speed. I mean, to me, it's a game changer. It sounds like you're becoming a convert. Oh, I see it. No, I see it. Um, <laughs> it and it's fast, too. That's the thing, is that when you take some of these photos, you're like, it's, oh, this one's classic. Fast, you have to print this one out. Uh, you know, there the are three things in, in business, uh, convenience, uh, speed, and price. Mm -hmm. And uh, this app addresses all three issues. So where do you go now? So like, what are the plans um, going forward for one hour, uh, for one hour photo? Um, like you're, you're in a lot of stores, you're getting the word out, of course, by doing interviews, things like this, like, like what's next? Uh, we have three ad agencies that are buying for our business. Uh, we're expanding our uh, marketing campaigns mm -hmm. uh, to let people know, because again, once they know, they become lifelong customers. Mm -hmm. The challenge for any business today is customer acquisition. That's the key mm -hmm. word when any business people get together 
that's what they talk about, a customer acquisition. Mm -hmm. So we're in the business now of acquiring customers and letting them know we built the technology, we, mm -hmm. we built the infrastructure, we have lots of uh, happy customers. We want every, every, everyone who yeah. has a, a camera in their pocket, which is everyone, should be a customer. So we're looking to expand our business mm -hmm. uh, that way. In addition, we still maintain our web-based business for those people who prefer something, uh, who have their images mm -hmm. on their computer or, or their phone uh, through mm -hmm. mailpix.com and WingFlash and mm -hmm. Ritzpix and MyPix too. Uh, we, we continue to maintain and expand our web-based business. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the most exciting part of our business today is our one-hour photo app. Mm -hmm. What what I love about this story, just in general, Fred, is I mean you. I mean, since you were thirteen, you've been obsessed with the cameras and producing film and, and print, and you've seen the entire evolution of the industry. I'm guessing, obviously, when you were thirteen or whenever it was created, the IP on one hour photo, whoever had it, you weren't probably thinking one day I'm going to acquire this, and then one day I'm going to become a leader in printing, um, in printing photos and do it, and you know. 18,000 plus retailers. I mean, looking back at your career overall, I mean, past president, photo marketing association, um, Kodak processing labs, and even now, like to this day, even with the successful business, even the way you're growing, you still remain involved in the, um, just in the industry in general overall, and are still taking um, leadership positions. So I understand that you currently serve on the board of um, the United Nations International Photographic Council. Um, tell me a little bit more about that and what that entails. Well, the uh, United Nations International Photographic Council uh, promotes peace through photography. Yeah. And we award scholarships every year to people. We put on uh, photo shows. Obviously, it's been more difficult these past yeah. uh, two yeah. years. Uh, photo shows. Uh, we sponsor uh, various uh, photo shows. Mm -hmm. And we meet with industry leaders and uh, pro provide yeah. acknowledgments to those other people. Uh, I was uh, uh, honored uh, a few years ago by the uh, IPC, and it's a great organization. Amazing. And I understand that you also received their, their Hall of Fame award. I know you don't like to brag over here, but uh, you're a big deal in, in, in what you've done in photography and your career overall. And, they, and I'm not just saying that you've obviously been recognized. So that's, that's amazing to me. Thank you. Thank you. Coming from you, those are kind words. Appreciate that. Well, Fred, um, I'll just say it, it really has been a pleasure having you on the show today and learning more about your background, your 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 background in the industry, your love for um, for photos, for what you're doing, and also the the difference you're making in the marketplace, creating really win win scenarios here. The um, you know the the retailers win, um, obviously your company wins, but also. Um, what, what your mission is aligned to doing really in helping people preserve those memories and to have that physical copy and to have those priceless, you know, many times heirlooms, right, in their, in their possession and to share and to hand down for generations. I can say that uh, it's a, always been a big deal in my family, like handing down the, uh, the um, photo albums from generation to generation. I still look at them when I go back to my mom's house. We're recording this uh, right now and uh, it's nearing Thanksgiving in 2021. Um, but uh, I think about that and we always pull out the old photo albums and see it and you can see those funny, you know, little kid pictures and other things like that. So um, what you're doing to preserve those moments for future generations, I think is amazing. Um, if somebody's watching this right now, Fred, and they want to learn more about one hour photo app or even uh, what's the best way for them to do that and to and to get started and involved? Uh, you can go to one of two places. You can go to mailpix.com or onehourphoto.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd just like to thank you, Adam, for having me and reminding you to take lots of photos this holiday. 
Love it. I'm in. Um, well, thank you, Fred. And uh, to the audience, as always, uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If this is your first time uh, engaging with our platform or watching the show, we bring on mission-based uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and experts, and we have them share their stories and why they do what they do, like how they're trying to make a difference in the world, how they're giving back to the marketplace, and really just creating win-win scenarios for everyone above and fred um, and his company and his other um, founders are definitely um, doing that so happy to have him on the show um, i'll also put the um put the in the show notes we'll put um the links and all that stuff so you can check out one hour photo app definitely wants you to go check that out and you heard fred go take a lot of pictures and print them and uh, so fred thanks again for coming on it really has been a pleasure i'm taking your photo right now no <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> I'll, I'll send you a print in one hour I'm in. Thank you. Okay.